this is my recipe on Bananas Foster. I've, I've tried a lot of different recipes, and this, there's nothing fancy about a, a Bananas Foster. It's just a combination of butter, brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, and you can and rum. I, I usually use um, a golden rum. I'm going to use actually the Santa Teresa, which we like a lot. You can see it's a nice golden rum. It's got an awesome flavor. And you don't have to flambe it, which is nice. Some people freak out about that. Um, just remember, alcohol burns at a lower temperature. It's not like you're dumping gasoline or anything on there. So, so what I've got is my skillet over here. I'm heating it up. I have three tablespoons of um, unsalted butter. Some recipes call for salted butter. I tend to use unsalted in everything we do. Um, when we cook, I never buy salted butter because I like to be able to control um, my own um, spices and, and elements of flavor. So we're just going to melt this butter down. I'm going to go ahead and just dump in, like, this is about three or four tablespoons of brown sugar. And then I have about, an, I don't know, about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm just going to let this melt down. And then you have just a little bit more butter. So, if you follow my cooking, what you'll find is that I don't really use recipes unless I'm baking because baking is like a chemistry and you need to be precise when you when you bake or you're making pastries or pies or cakes. Um, all my other recipes, it's all sort of by the seat of my pants, okay? Um, and just use your own intuition in terms of what's going on. So over here while that's melting down and I want to get a little bit of a brown on that. Come over here, and I have my bananas. Now I wash these off. I always, people say, you wash your bananas. Yeah, because I don't know where and what these are treated with coming into the country. So I always wash bananas before I handle them. Okay. Oops. That one looks a little extra right there. So you can do these two ways. You can you can sort of fillet it down the middle and cook long pieces. Can you turn that down just all the way? Okay, so I'm going to move these right into this. Whoa! Bananas everywhere. So what I'm going to do here is just, I, I just want to get these nice and coated. I'm going to warm these bananas up. Now if you'll notice, these are not um, super ripe bananas. I like them to be just where they're at the yellow. Um, they've gone from green to yellow, but they haven't started to, to get a lot of brown spots on them. Because I want them to be more firm. The riper the banana, obviously, the more... Um, soft they're going to be and what will happen is you'll end up with just a bunch of mush and that's not easy. So we're just letting these kind of cook along. So this takes about three or four minutes once you dump the bananas in and kind of stir them around. And you know don't be afraid to sprinkle a little like can and use some fresh nutmeg on there. You can definitely put a little nutmeg over on this. Don't be afraid to try other things on here so but basically it's brown sugar butter a little bit of cinnamon so i'm going to let these set for a second and i'm going to go over we are using hornstra ice cream and the reason i like this is hornstra is a local dairy um, and we always try to support local farms, local dairies, local businesses, local farms for um, produce, things of that nature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of scoops of this because this is a splitting plate that we're using. So we're each going to have one serving, but we're going to use one plate. 
Mike doesn't really like to share, so I was surprised when he said we could put That's it on exactly one plate. Right. When it comes to dessert, <laughs> it's one thing you never want to share. So give these a little toss around. You can see everything's bubbling nice. So now it's the flambe or the non flambe. It's kind of your choice there. So I always take it off the, the fire. Oh, yeah, that's good rubber. Stir it around. You just give it a nice flame. Now we'll just cook down. If it gets too big, what you can do is throw the lid on it. You want the alcohol to cook off. You want it to come to a nice boil, as you can see. There's your banana flambe. We are going to take our... Where's my scoop? And I like corn straw ice cream is the fact that there's no carrageenan, there's no gargum, there's nothing but milk product, a little bit of sugar. Put some of your uh, fancy caramel stuff on there. Yes. And then Shannon was kind enough to make me some fancy caramel stuff. And I'm not very decorative, so we'll just do what I can do yeah, here. Let's. Oh, well, does he talk? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> That's fancy anyway. enough. Bon appetit.